Hello, and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And in this video, we're going to continue to look at the Gbox Q and its new firmware. And I want to show you how you can add an Amazon Instant Video app. You'll see this is a full Instant Video app. It's navigable by the just directional buttons on the remote. You don't even need like an air mouse with you know, this kind of feature, which, you know, is helpful in most cases, but not necessary in this case. Everything works pretty good. Um, I'll just give you an, an example. You, you load the video. I'm not going to do it for very long. But just want to show you that it will actually load. See? So this is a working Amazon Instant Video or Amazon Video app for Android. And I'm going to show you how you set that up. You start in Settings and go to System Settings. And what you want to do first is change your settings to allow you to add things from outside of the Google Play Store. So you do that under security and restrictions. See where it says unknown sources right there? Typically it's going to be set to off just like that. But you go in, press OK, you turn it on, and you see it'll tell you, you know, it might be vulnerable and so on and so forth. And so you want to be careful where you go. But I think Amazon is probably pretty safe. Next, you're going to go to All Apps. Unless you've got a browser set up already on your home screen, you're going to find a browser right here. This is an, like an automatically installed browser that you're going to find on most Android devices. And if you've got a keyboard, it makes things real easy. I'm just going to look for Amazon. Actually, let's get more specific. We'll say Download. Amazon Underground APK and search. If you're wondering what I'm using here, um, I have an air mouse, the A2 Lite air mouse from Minix or Minix. It's probably my favorite one. It's got a cursor, it's got a full keyboard, and basic functions. Okay, so from here, I believe, you just click here on Get App Store. Open with browser just once. And you see, here's the Amazon Underground. It explains. You shop all the products. And what it is, it's, a, it's really like a full Amazon store, similar to what you would see on an Amazon device or even like you know, the iOS app. And from here... You just click on Download Amazon Underground. Of course, I've already got it, so, you know, it says it's starting with download, but, I mean, that's kind of a moot point, but I just wanted to show you that you do that. As though you couldn't figure it out yourself, right? That might have been an unimportant step, but just trying to be helpful. So, once you have it installed on your box... You're going to need to go to the app installer, and you see where it says local disk. See, there it is. As we, you know, I've been playing with this, so that's the one we just downloaded. So to install it, you just click on it again, and you see you've got your option to install. It looks just like any other Android menu. We are not going to go through that all over again because I've already installed it. You install it. And once you install it, you want to back out of your apps, go back in, and it'll appear for you. So once you have the Amazon Underground app, you jump on in, and you'll see that it's a full Amazon store, really. I mean, you know, just I'll blank out of this since I don't 
want you to see exactly what it looks like ahead of time. So we can just get back to the home. <laughs> All right, let's clear that out. I just want you to get a, a view of what it looks like before you've actually searched for anything. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you start off. And really all you do is look for the Amazon video app. Amazon video app. And you see it appears right here in the left-hand corner. You click on it. And this is where you download it. I've got it already. It says open, so duh. But if you don't have it already, this is where you download it from. Um, just understand it will go kind of slow. Be patient. It, it took a couple of minutes. It just gives you a status up on the top. It says, you know, downloading or preparing to download. And it'll look like it's going to take forever. It takes about ah, four minutes or so, maybe, maybe longer, depending on your internet connection. Just go get something to drink, relax. When you get back, go ahead and sign into your Amazon account, and you're good to go. From there on, you will have a controller-friendly Amazon video app for your Android device, and you should be good to go. I'd go ahead and give this a shot on any Android device, especially something running Lollipop, and enjoy. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe. Please share this. We are so, so close to 5,000 subscribers. It's very exciting, and that's a big step for a YouTuber person like me. Check us out on thestreamingadvisor.com for more on the G-Box, including a detailed guide on how to install this firmware update. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.